Hi, today's episode, we're going to be talking about one pilot cockpits. So this is a trend right now. Lots of people talking about it. Lots of airline pilot associations around the world are up in arms uh, because they're going to be introducing this one pilot operations to airliners. Uh, so we're going to be talking about this in this episode of BizJet TV. If it's your first time here on the channel, welcome to BizJet TV. My name is Fabrizio Poli. I'm the aviation advisor and the host here on BizJet TV. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and also click the join button to uh, gain access to exclusive content here on BizJet TV. And give me a super thanks at the end of the video uh, if you enjoyed this one. That helps to keep the channel going here. Now, I also write for Buyer Magazine and here's Buyer Magazine and this interesting article uh, or series of articles I've been doing about um, owners of private jets. And the latest issue, I talk about Timon Fertitta. Here, here he is here. This is my article about Tillman. He's an entrepreneur from Texas. Um, he also owns a um, basketball team. Um, and here you go. There's me there in the magazine. And it talks about how he uses a private jet to build his businesses. Um, and it's really, really interesting. And so if you click on the link below, you can go to all these articles I've been doing about uh, private jet ownership and how these owners use the private jet as a business tool. So that's great. So remember to click on uh, the link that takes you to my articles and uh, buy a magazine. So enough for the intro here. Let's get into today's episode. Let's talk about this one pilot cockpit coming to the large jets. So 40 countries, including Germany, the UK, New Zealand, have actually uh, asked the United Nations body that sets aviation standards, which is the IATA, to help make single pilot flights a safe uh, reality. So um, this is interesting. Also, Cathay Pacific are working together with Airbus to develop this. So their pilots are sitting down with Airbus to see how they can uh, create this technology uh, for the larger jets. Now, this is already being done in small private jets. Um, there's a number of private jets which can be flown single pilot. Uh, the famous Cessna Citations back in the 70s, a single pilot. Now, the, the, the new version, the C Citation Jets, uh, the CJ1, 2, 3, and 4 can all be flown single pilot. You've got the Honda Jet, uh, you've got Phenom uh, 100 and 300 built by Embraer that can be flown by single pilot. And then you've got the various turbo props uh, like the PC12 um, and uh, King Air. Uh, Cheyennes uh, that all can be flown single pilot. And then also you've got the Pilatus PC24 private jet, which can be flown single pilot. Now these aircraft all have a limited range, about 2,000 nautical miles. But Honda is developing the Honda Jet 2600. It's going to have 2,600 mile range and going to be single pilot as well. So um, these airplanes are flown single pilot, but they also have more advanced technology in them compared to what you have in the airliners. So obviously, when you've got a bigger airplane, the uh, there are more systems in a, in a larger airplane. I mean, I remember when I did my transition on the Boeing 737, I was coming from flying uh, Dorney 328. And, and obviously the uh, 737 is a bigger aircraft, uh, you know, the systems and that. But even when I went from a Citation to flying a Dornier 328 turboprop, there's more systems on, on that aircraft. So uh, we have to be able to make, allow the... the um, avionics and everything to be developed in order for one pilot to be able to manage this complex aircraft on their own. So there's a lot of uh, AI that needs to be built in to the airplane in order to allow this to happen on a larger aircraft. Obviously, it's a lot easier on a smaller airplane, but, you know, Airbus are working with Cathay Pacific to do this. And so uh, they're talking about uh, having this type of technology enter service by 2027. So that's literally around the corner. It's really, really around the corner. Now, lots of um, associations around the world, airline pilot associations are up in arms over this. Pilots are talking and saying, no, you can't do this because what happens when a complex emergency happens? Now, I've been an, an airline pilot and I've had uh, one large emergency happen. Uh, the only time I ever declared a mayday. And yes, I admit, if there had been just one of us on the flight deck, it would have been more difficult to manage than just within two of us. So having two certainly help. But what a lot of these airline pilots don't realize is, yes, I agree on a 737 or a 747, 777, A350, um, the technology isn't there yet to allow one pilot to manage a complex airplane uh, in an emergency situation on their own. So uh, the technology needs to be developed in order for these aircraft to be flown and managed, in particular in abnormal situations, because that's what it's all about. I mean, when you're flying straight and level and everything's going well, yes, one pilot can fly, 
that, that's pretty easy to fly an airplane on your own um, when everything's going well. Uh, the problems start when things start to, you know, systems start to fail, engines start to fail, and you got challenging weather and things like that. And so that's when two pilots are really, really necessary. But if you've got enough technology built into the airplane and you've got AI, which acts as the co-pilot, I mean, if you think Luke Skywalker and R2-D2, R2-D2 is this AI that is Luke Skywalker's co-pilot. Now, yes, you're probably saying to me, well, that's science fiction, it's fiction, it's not reality. Yeah, but, you know, uh, science fiction always precedes reality. You know, the science fiction writers come up with these ideas and there's something the scientists think to themselves and say, well, wouldn't it be cool to make that reality? So the engineers and scientists get working and then they turn that fiction um, into into reality. And so we're going to be, this is coming. This is coming and I know a lot of pilots are against it. I'm a pilot myself. I admit that right now you can't fly a 747 on your own. Uh, you need to be two pilots. But if we take this technology, which is already inside uh, a lot of private jets, and bear in mind that Garmin have developed already, developed and certified and implemented in a number of aircraft. It's called the Garmin Emergency Ultra Land. You can click on the video above and you, you can see how this thing works. And basically it's a button on the aircraft that suddenly the pilot becomes incapacitated. The passenger can press that button and the airplane will land at the nearest suitable airport all on its own. Uh, the air will take over, it will liaise with air traffic control, bring the landing gear down, flaps, everything, and land the airplane safely. Uh, this is uh, currently in the Cirrus Vision Jet and also on the TBM and 940, which is a turboprop. And now Honda have already announced that they're going to be inserting it into the Honda Jet Elite 2. And we'll have this capability. And, and I'm sure the other manufacturers of single pilot jets are going to be introducing this in, in, in their aircraft as well. And... Um, as I said, Cathay Pacific already working with Airbus to insert this into the Airbuses. Um, and so I'm sure all the other manufacturers are scrambling to do this. Because let's face it, if you only need one pilot to fly the airplane instead of two, it's going to save you a ton of money. So from an economic perspective, it's a convenient thing for the airlines to have one pilot flying the plane instead of two, because it's just going to be cheaper. Um, and a lot of people still think it's going to be dangerous. But And I agree with the current technology we have in the airliners. It is dangerous. But with the new technology that's been developed, once this thing is developed and out there, it's going to be safe. Um, and it's coming. And they, they reckon 2027. I'm not that optimistic. Let's call it by 2030. Um, um, so we've got, what, end of 2022 now. So eight years to develop this technology and introduce it into the larger aircraft um, but, you know, a lot of the spaceships that go out to the space station and that are flown mainly by AI. Um, and so, you know, I think the technology is already there. I think the biggest barrier is not so much the technology, but psychologically, we need to be able to trust um, the, 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 this technology. Um, so I think it's that and the, and the regulators that need to regulate and certify these things to fly single pilot. We also see in the EV toll world, the electrical vertical takeoff and landing, all these different projects. There's quite a number of them which are actually unmanned. Um, and so that's being developed. So there's lots and lots of projects which are working on this uh, automated uh, cockpits. Um, and we're not going to see the pilot eliminated completely, uh, at least not initially. But I think by 2030, we will see um, airliners flown by one pilot uh, which will solve the pilot shortage problem, at least for a while. And then eventually, probably by 2050, we'll see these things fly without a pilot. Uh, just AI will be flying from flying you from A to B. So that's that's my take on this. So I'd like to hear what you think. Let's get the conversation going here uh, in the comment uh, uh, comment boxes down here below uh, on BizJet TV. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to Bidget TV if you haven't done so already and join the channel by click the join button and get access to the exclusive content here on Bidget TV. We've got lots of videos uh, just available for the exclusive members and you can have a look at that. And also give me a super thanks if you enjoyed this video and check out this other one we did about the Vision Jet crash that happened recently. Uh, interesting one and uh, hear my take on that accident. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli on Bidget TV and I'll see you in the next one.